What's up everybody, Cody Razowitz here from Defy Athletics. Today we're going to be talking about the split dodge. What's up everybody, I'm gonna start talking about the split dodge. So split dodge, there's a couple different ways that I like to do it that um, it's all preference, but there's the one that I really, you can have like a speed split dodge, which I personally like where you catch the ball, you're moving, you're moving your feet, coming out of the box, and you have your defensive guy, he might be, you might have a 10 yard cushion on him. So like with a speed split dodge is great because it's really just one quick hard jab step and you're just switching to your opposite hand, whichever it started it, and you're just running full speed, knifing your body, getting down the alley, and either looking to shoot or pass. So when I'm getting ready to start my split dodge, I sometimes like if the ball's moving around, we're getting it around, all five of us guys are out there, we're moving the ball around, and the ball's coming to me, I like to take a couple of steps back and really square up my defenseman. See which way he's really shading towards the goal or trying to push me to my weak hand or my opposite hand. So once, that, once I'm able to figure out what he's doing, then I'm in control the rest of that time. He is just there and I'm going around him thinking my best way to get to the goal or find my open teammate and draw a slide. So when I'm getting ready to start, if my defenseman is shading me to my right hand, I may start at my left hand, my weak hand, and I want to find his top, his top leg and his shoulder. I want to attack that best part to really open him up open him up and get his hips running with me. And once he opens his hips, he has to take an extra step and I'll be running at him. So I will be able to gain a step and hopefully get him on my back to where he is the point of that he's beat. So when I'm starting, I'm gonna find his top foot, his inside, not his inside foot, but his outside foot. So if I'm attacking him, I'm gonna run directly at his shoulder and his outside foot. So that's gonna make him open up this way and then once I get him to backpedal or open up, I'm going to take one hard jab step, get all my weight. You can even throw your head this way, and then it's immediately I'm punching my right arm towards the spot I want to go to. I, I like to think about punching it that way because my rest of my body is going to follow where my shoulders are going and that momentum. So if I push it out to the side, I'm opening up this way, and I'm going to start running away from the goal and to the sideline. But if I, point, if I punch it right to that corner of the field or to the corner of the post, to the spot that I want to get to because that's where I want to dodge and not the defenseman's pushing me, I'm going to push everything I have that way. And that's going to get my momentum going here. And then immediately, once I grab my bottom hand, that's already getting me ready to knife my body. And I'm opening up my shoulders and I'm getting ready to shoot. So once you get that, you grab that bottom hand, you already look, you're a threat. Defensemen are either gonna have to make a decision not to slide to you if you have that step. So if they don't slide to you, what's your number one? Number one job is to go score, right? So if they do slide to you, then it's either my hands are ready. If I keep my stick up, I'm a threat either to score or I'm a threat to pass the ball to open attackman or open midfielder on my, te my teammate. So then once I get running, my hips are automatically turned for me punching out grabbing that stick and that's it's awkward to run like this out of a dodge here so once i punch it out here and i grab it's immediately my stick's already going back head i like to think about my whole stick matches my one left leg so if it's my right hand my stick's already back up and i just think about a straight line you can draw it it's just right here all the way down to my leg so i'm running and i'm a threat either to shoot or pass so I'm going to go half speed and show you guys the whole mechanics of it and really slow it down so you're able to get a better understanding about how the whole, how I set up my defenseman. So I'm going to catch the ball, I'm going to take my couple steps back, and then I'm going to take my run at my defenseman. And I'm taking an angle to where he's going to have to open up. So I'm going to take a hard jab, punch the stick out, grab it here, and then I'm already ready to shoot. Alright, so now I'm going to go full speed and show what it's going to look like after that finished product. Here we're going to give you a different angle, just full speed again. I would say three main points. One, square your defenseman up and keep your shoulders up and above your body. That's going to be able to make most explosiveness for yourself. Two, I would say to be able to punch out to either direction that you're going to because that's going to have your body follow you and it won't be fighting all the momentum and slowing you down. 
Then the third one is always attack that opposite, that outside foot for him. So that's going to make your defenseman open up his hips and try to keep up with you and run with you and catch up. Hey guys, really appreciate you guys taking the time and watching the video. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below. Keep watching those videos each week. See you around.